child. So I was on threads today and this girl asked, what career is a red flag to you? So of course I had to do the work because friends, you know, I don't know you at all. Um, and I, I don't really actually even exist in a space where I even desire to be viral or anything like that. Like I'm not trying to be popular. I just, I'm just sort of, in, this is my little corner of the world. And I just want to feed and also absorb like whatever is for me. Like that's the sort of what I'm, what I'm on. It's the type of time I'm, I'm on, you know. Um, but when you ask a question, what career is a red flag for you, or flag to you rather, um, that just sort of like, that sparks my sort of like my sister girl, sisterhood, like let me make sure these girls is definitely taken care of and not doing the wrong thing. So let me go ahead and read this list off of y'all, child. So um, what career is a red flag to you again? So this is the list that I have. This is, this is a short list. There's more. Um, personal trainers. T-Mobile employees, Foot Lock managers, anybody, I'm talking about anybody that works at the Roosevelt Fields Mall or Queen Center Mall, any of them. I don't care if it's the Chick-fil-A um, or the Cheesecake Factory or Claire's Boutique, none of them. X-ray technicians, any job with an address or Flatbush Avenue, never date, none of them. Not, don't date these people. Applebee's bartenders. Dallas BBQ's cooks, the cooks specifically, some of the waiters, waitresses, um, I'm not really sure, like wait staff, however you want to be, um, you know, identified. However, some of them probably are okay, but the cooks, no. Popeye's cashiers, uh, definitely no. No, 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 no. Dominican barbers, never date them. Puerto Rican barbers, African anything. I don't care what we're doing, whether it's an African that works at the TJ Maxx in loss prevention uh, or an African that works at the Target as a manager. Don't date Africans at all. And, and, I, and I'm East African. I'm telling you this because I love you guys. So no, don't do it. Um, fishermen, just, just don't. Don't do that. Military men, I, I don't got to tell you guys too much about that. We already know about that too. Um, NYPD, very specifically, as I said, 79th and 88th precinct. Again, NYPD, 79th and 88th precinct. Stay away from every single individual who works for these precincts. Um, no, it's not going to work. Don't do it, honey. Optometrists, uh, Walmart assistant managers. The managers, maybe, maybe the assistants not worth your time. NBA players, like why even do it? Um, certainly at my big age, like I, I only, it wouldn't even make sense. Anybody in the NBA at this, this particular point, um, I'm auntie team. So like, why the heck would I even be entertaining something like that? But yeah, don't do it for more reasons than that, than the age. But you know, obviously just don't do it. It's not worth their time. Um, any, anybody at Guitar Center, they already know they have a cool job. I mean, they should be the hookup. Guitars and employees are actually pretty pompous in that way, and they, they're not the hookup. And it's like, you know, you shouldn't be really using anybody for the job anyway. But, like, no, don't do it. So, no. Anybody that has a corporate title in a fast food job channel, so, like, those guys that are, like, a VP at McDonald's or, like, a marketing executive at Wendy's or someone that works in the C-suite at Arby's, no, no, not for you. Cut it out, okay? Um, this is a very short list, honey. A very short list of mine. I, I do have other um, jobs that I want you guys to stay away from, but I just want to at least get this out for y'all. I, I needed to get this out for y'all because I really, truly do care about you, and that's it.